I got another truck project going on, and I'm actually going to be building myself an air intake box for my Ford truck. I'm running a standard, a pretty standardized intake. This is actually Napa 6637 air filter, that's the part number. This works great, it flows a lot of air, but the downside is it pulls hot air. Because if you think about it, this is all inside the engine bay. And this filter, while it flows like a lot, if it's right next to this hot engine, it's pulling air from right there. And I want something that's going to be more factory style set up and that's actually going to be pulling air where it's going to be as cold as it can possibly be. There's a mounting point right over here. And right below, there's also a mounting point towards the here as well. And we have a bolt that we can work with. Now the challenge is I need to build an air filter box that is able to hold the entirety of this 6637 air filter. Guys, this thing's massive. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, stuff is going to be in the big box. You can see it, it kind of fits in quite nicely in that little groove right there. So the idea being then that I could just build a box around it and then maybe figure out the piping that goes to the actual intake itself a little bit later on. So check it out, this kind of technique that I'm using to I guess mock out the shape of my air box. I'm using a piece of cardboard and an X-Acto knife just to kind of cut out the shape as to where everything is going to be. What I'm going to do later is I'm going to take the pieces that I make out of cardboard and then I'm going to trace it on a piece of steel, cut it out, and weld it all together. At least that's the idea in theory. And I've got a pretty reasonable structure. It all seems to fit in there just right. Now the next thing i got to do is actually build it out of steel now. So I went ahead and picked up a piece of 16 gauge steel that I can use to build the box itself. And I also got a big hunking piece of 4 inch exhaust tubing. So hopefully this will work well for a nice roomy intake. And maybe if I have a little bit left over I can use it to uh, build an exhaust system as well. We'll see. So I just kind of mock this up. It sets in here just about that. 6637 sets right in there. So you can kind of see the whole thing. Yeah, it runs a fun part. Taking apart all my hard work. There's a couple studs. I need to measure 473. So if I make the, I need to drill two half inch holes in the bottom plate, and I should be able to get this thing to work. All right, so part of the fitting here, I gotta trim off this whole side. You can see I still have the mark. Now I'm gonna see if I can trim that off here real quick. The main thing will be whenever I drill these holes themselves. Make sure that those that it still will line up, which odds are it might not. Really no. Ah, so close. Basically, serve as an air inlet. Now that's 
piece of exhaust tubing. Well, in my case, it's going to be an engine. I ended up going through and I painted this elbow that I made black you know, overnight. It appears to be a little bit wet actually still. I painted it this morning, but it should be good. I think that's a good way to get everything nice sealed up. There's a lot of weld splatter. And I'm hoping this will help keep all anything that might be inside the intake from getting in the engine. That would be really bad. But I picked up this drain pipe and I'm going to use this to actually serve as the air collector as I will stick it on this corner like so and then I can basically put the other end of the hosing wherever I need it to be so that we can have a nice big air inlet. I think I'm finally done. Well, almost. I've done all the grinding and cutting and everything. I got a nice hole cut out right here and all it does is this section just kind of wedges in there and I just need to put the insulating strip on top and then mount everything up I mean, you should be good to go and hopefully this thing will work and I'll be done. Woohoo! Alright, I went ahead and got the whole air intake all set up. You now I see you do one last preliminary check, but you can see how everything goes together. Looks pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. And it's a really tight fit. You can see where I had to put a little piece of insulation between the airbox itself and my AC line. So that's uh, something I might need to figure out later. Maybe make this thing smaller in the future. But this is that ducting line I got that drain pipe goes all the way down over here get nice cold air hopefully everything should work well so I guess the next thing is just to do a double check on all these hose clamps right here and make sure they're all good to go and then heck take the thing for a test drive it should be fun all right guys time to go for a test drive let's see how this thing serves us all right it's almost from a dead standstill guys I think this really does it I say there's a little bit of difference right now I'll see if I can do an update about maybe fuel economy difference but you know, that will just take time so, in the meantime I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and everything and if you liked it click the like button and if you want to see more video click subscribe and if you didn't like the video and you have press thumbs down do so but please, if you want to leave a comment, I'm always open for constructive criticism. If there's something else that you want to hear from this video or see from this video, I'd love to learn. That way I can hopefully help you guys better out on some future videos. I'm blind with myself if I design this darn thing. Ugh, for crying out loud.